My dear brothers and sisters the fear of future there is another kind of fear the fear of future fear of what will happen to me fear of sicknesses fear of tragedies this is affecting many people today fear of you know they are they are so scared of what will happen to me and um, the, the they they are so scared that they what will would happen to them so they are worried always and they are every time they will always speak negative things and saying i have not reached nowhere i have not reached anywhere and nothing has happened to me there is no improvement in my life so they were always negative because they are also they are having a fear of future all those who are having fear of future fear of tragedies and fear of losing everything and fear of sicknesses so they will be always speaking negative and they will have negative attitude saying i have not reached anywhere i have not become anyone and i have nothing in the future i have nothing hope to hope for even when they are everything settled they will not be happy because they feel uncertain and insecure about their fear and about their future so this is called fear of future and this is dangerous in such situation we will be covered this we will be we will betray jesus we will deny jesus we will be we will never stand for jesus we will be only self centered we know from the bible peter had this fear of future peter had this fear of what is going to happen in the future and that was one of the reasons he denied jesus so peter had asked once Jesus we had left everything what we will be get what will be get we sacrifice everything of us so what are we going to get in the future so he is worried even in his old age he is worried about his future and not only that he when he was in the pilots in the in the in the fortress when Jesus was taken inside the fortress after the after the soldiers came and caught Jesus and peter was in front of the fireplace and there were so many people sitting around him and then one woman came and asked him are you one of them then peter got scared peter thought if i would say, if i say yes there is terrible consequence just because just the way jesus was caught i will be caught i don't want to be caught i want to be safe i want to protect myself there is no one to help me therefore it is better to say lie and deny every connection from jesus every connection with jesus and he said i don't know him not once but three times he said i don't know him because he has the fear of what is going to happen in the future he was afraid of going to jail he was afraid of dying he was afraid of losing his future and that was why he denied jesus there are many people they deny god because there is a fear of future fear of sickness fear of what is going to happen in the future so that is not good my dear brothers and sisters let us have no fear of our future because our future is not in our hand but it is only in the hand of god our future is safe in the hand of god our future is safe in the hand of god i had an interview for a tv channel and then they asked me one question father if you get a chance to go back to your yourself when you were only 18 years of age and you wanted to give an a piece of advice to that person that is you yourself who is only 18 years of age what would be your piece of advice so that was a brilliant question he asked he asked just imagine you are 18 years of age you have to go back to your 18 years of age and you may be somewhere so you have to go back and tell yourself an advice a piece of advice what would be your advice 
So then I started to remember what was going on in my mind then. Then I remember that was my after my 10th grade, after my uh, uh, graduation, I'm, uh, you know, uh, preparing my future. I was so worried about my future. I was worried about what is going to happen. So uh, all the, there were so many things were going on in my mind those years. So when he asked me this question, I told him, if I got a chance to go back to my own past and speak to myself who is only 18 years of age and give a piece of advice, I will say, those days I was just a brother Joseph, not father Joseph. So I would say, father jo brother Joseph, don't worry. Don't be scared. Don't be tensed about future. Don't be worry about your career. Don't be, worry, don't be worried about what is going to happen in the future. God has got an amazing plan for you. God has kept a brilliant future for you. And God has got a very fulfilling ministry for you. And you just enjoy your moment. And that will be my advice for, for our brother Joseph who is 18 years of old. So that is what I told him. So my dear brothers and sisters, there may be so many 18 people, 18 years of age people who are sitting here and listening to me. This, listen, the Lord wants to tell you something. You don't need to worry about future. You don't need to be scared about anything. There is something brilliant, amazing and wonderful thing the Lord has prepared for you. You just need to be calmed down and just allow God to work. Allow God to take, allow God to carry you. And he will surely take you to the right place and right time and right position. And therefore you just need to be calm. You don't need to be tensed. You don't need to be too worried about your career, career and you don't need to worry about your future. He has a plan for you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. We read like this. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. The word of God says very clearly. I know the plans I have for you. Surely I know the plans I have for you. Says the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for harm. To give you a future with hope. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for harm, but to give you a future with hope. My dear brothers and sisters, your plans are very temporary, limited, local plannings. We all have local plannings. But God has got supernatural plannings for you. Always remember, do you want to just... Follow the local planning or supernatural planning. That is what the Lord is inviting you for. The Lord says, For surely I know the plans I have for you. And then we are telling God, God, you keep quiet. I know my plans. But the Lord says, My plans are higher than yours. You are planning sitting in the room in Ramsgate, Divan Retreat Center in Ramsgate, in United Kingdom, in the Europe, in the whole, in this, on this earth, out of these millions of galaxies. I am sitting in one corner of this galaxy, one corner of this, the, all these galaxies in this solar system and I am sitting here in the, on this earth and this earth there is uh, so many, so many continents and there is, uh, Europe is one continent, in Europe so many countries, one country is UK, in UK so many uh, uh, counties, in one county is Kent and in Kent so many, uh, so many uh, district and, uh, and one is Thanet district and in Thanet city there are so many cities one is Ramsgate in Ramsgate so many buildings and one building is Divan Riti Center in Divan Riti Center so many rooms and in one room is my room and sitting there I am planning and do you think that plan is very powerful or the Lord who is sitting above all the galaxies and planning for me which one is powerful which one I should thirst for which one I should follow the Lord says, surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare, not for harm, 